Well, when I was in Sequatchie County Jail, uh, you know, they got church every day over there, and there was uh, this prophetic, you know, pastor or whatever that came, and I was told that, you know, this people would say, you're going to trip out on this guy, you know, but when he prayed over me, you know, there was a, you know, I sensed that power. And he said some things to me that I, I'll never forget, you know, um, because he said that, number one, he released, a, well, he didn't release a curse, but he said, he told me that there was a curse that was released from my stomach. And then, and that's a whole different story in itself, but I mean, and then this one particular day I was with this chick and then uh, there was an incident where, you know, I, it was just me and her there, right? And evidently I got her mad or whatever. I walked outside a lot from the bedroom into the living room, okay, um, to get away from her. And the next thing you know, here come it has you know here comes this cat in the hallway, and this cat, you know, just sat there and looked at me. And when that cat, it kind of like from where you're at jumped. I thought it was jumping on me, but it jumped on the arm of the couch. It scared me. I was about a 30-pound cat, you know, and I, anyways, it jumped on the arm of the, uh, the couch. So I got up, and this cat was sitting here where I was sitting, and the second that we had eye-to-eye -eye contact, and it, it was more like a growl kind of for a cat, you know. It was wicked. And then the instant that we had eye-to-eye -eye contact and that growl, I swear to you, I felt like I had a bed of snakes in my stomach and, you know, just in my growing areas in my stomach, which kind of freaked me out, you know. Well, it was about a day before this even happened, you know, we were showing each other tattoos and, you know, she's got, you know, like dragons and castles on her rib cage and stuff. And she, she, she made a point to let me know that. She goes, you see anything else in that tattoo? And I was like, no. And then when she pointed it out, there was 666 in that tattoo. You know, so, I'm, I mean, I didn't tell very many people this for a long time, you know, and it was just few selected people because I didn't want to think, let them think I was crazy, you know. But from that day on, I believed in, uh, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, even though I've always tried to, I mean, I, I just blocked it out before, you know, but I, I mean, I, I know I ran up on some uh, wicked stuff that day.